Hello. Today, let's take a little bit of time to rest and relax while opening up our body. Pregnancy makes you tired. You are carrying a life in you. Your body is working overtime to support that life. And so to take some time to rest and restore our body is never a bad thing. All those type A personalities out there, all of you listening, it's time to learn how to rest. Let's take care of our bodies. <clears throat> now, since we have, oh, I don't, I don't have a, be a baby belly, but you do and you're watching me. I used to have babies. I had three babies. And so I hopefully can understand what you're going through, but we are going to use this bolster to help ease our body in these poses. If you don't have a bolster, you can simply get a pillow. A body pillow is great. Some people get those when they are expecting. Or just a couch, uh, like a softer couch pillow, longer couch pillow, or just a, belt, a bed pillow from your bed. So let's take the pillow or the bolster. I'll call it a bolster because that's what I have underneath our hips. And then just sit crisscross in front. So what this has done is it's elevated our torso a little bit, elevated our hips a little bit, tipped our pelvis downward to help open up the sacrum in the low back. So let's roll our shoulders back, sit nice and tall and tuck your chin down a little and start breathing. When you are expecting, you never want to hold your breath. Sometimes in yoga, we do breath retention exercises, not while pregnant. Let's let the breath keep coming, flowing in and out, never stopping. It's slow and it's steady, but it's also deep. And it's amazing how much energy we can regain if we start to focus on deepening the breath. Not the, just the breath from the chest, but deep down into the diaphragm. Press into your baby there with your deep breathing. Let's take some breathing together with motion. So open your eyes, send your arms by your sides. Inhale, lift, expand the sides of the body. Exhale, release. Let your head drop gently down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Let's move this next one into a twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. One hand to your knee, one hand behind you. Gentle twist to spiral through your back. Slow and steady breathing. Release a little pressure through your center and your low back. Take it again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Now, sometimes we have to change twists when we're pregnant. This twist is fine because we are, we're all open through our center. We never want to squeeze our baby. Not a good thing but it does feel good to twist. So as long as you can do a twist with an open chest, open through the legs, it'll feel nice on your back. Good, inhale, come back to the center. For a moment, let's release our, our pillow bolster off to the side, just keep it handy. And come to all fours to ease pain in the hips and the back, we'll take a little cat and cow buttock, uh, bit of lasana. <laughs> Inhale, drop your belly down, roll your shoulders back, throat opens, 
Exhale, round through the spine. Lift the mid back, tuck your chin, nice and high tilt. Inhale, arch, belly drops down, send the gaze up. Exhale, round, pull and lift. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Come back to neutral. Let your knees open a little wider. Let's take the bolster underneath this. So just slide the bolster in between your legs and sit yourself down. Now, depending on how far along you are, you might have to adjust this a little bit. I don't have a baby. If you're in your first trimester, it'll feel fine to just lay on this bolster. But if you have a baby there, you might want to elevate through the chest. So you'll lay yourself this way and place kind of your head on that bolster. So we've still got this open wide sacrum there. We're not quite seated all the way back. That's because there's a belly here, there's a baby here, but we can still rest the upper body. I like to just keep my head neutral. So I would just let my chin kind of hang forward of that bolster. Just give you a little bit of support for your chest and that lift through the center. So either way, find something that feels good. That's the whole point today. Let's feel good. Good, lift back up, nicely done. And let's bring it to the front of us. Take your legs wide. Now in pregnancy, we get really tight through the psoas, the front of the hips, and through our low back, all this different weight that's pressing down on our body, but it feels really nice to open through the inner thigh and hamstrings. So use your bolster. Again, if you're maybe first trimester, second trimester, you can lay across it this way. But if you're third trimester, you're gonna want some space for that baby. And so you might just rest your forearms. We're just giving ourselves something to rest upon so that we can have gravity pull forward. Not all of us will be able to lay flat. Some of you might, but that's not the goal. The goal is to feel that sensation through the inner thigh, open up the, hams, uh, the hips, the hip flexors in the back. I'm sorry, the sacrum in the back. <laughs> and let yourself just fold and press into that spot in the low back. Very nice. Slow and steady breathing. None of this today is about moving fast. Remember, we're taking time to recognize that your body is tired and working hard, and we're easing the aches nice and gently. Good, inhale, lift up. Very nice. Exhale, gentle release of those hips. Let's keep working on the psoas. So bring your bolster now behind you and see if you can hurdle your legs on each side. Now if that's too hard for you, it's fine. Just sit on your knees and you'll lean yourself back. You may not hit your bolster. So I'm leaning back quite far. You could even just be on your hands, shoulders rolled back. So some of us might be here in your bolster, you're not using your bolster at all. Some of us might come to our elbows. And those of you who are able to take your hips to the floor and the legs are hurtling around, you could lay all the way down and then take the arms overhead. So what this is doing is it's still supporting the curve of our spine. And look how open 
your center is where the baby is. But there's a ton of stretch going on right here. This area gets really tight and compacted. All that body weight, all the baby weight is pressing down here and gets really tight through, <clears throat> through the psoas, through the quadriceps. And just opening the chest, you can even take the arms out to the side if that feels better to you. Pay attention to how your shoulders feel. We'll just create more space for breath. Breath is so important for both mom and baby. It's a very calming pose. Hold it for a few more breaths. Go ahead and gently lift yourself up. Let's keep the bolster where it is, but we'll change our feet. So pull your legs around into a butterfly position. Feet together, knees open to the side. And from there, lay yourself down. This will pull again some weight through the front of your hips. Open up the hip flexors, tilts our pelvis, so we're supporting the curve of our spine. We can get some, uh, some pain in, in our low back through the spine there. So we're releasing all of that area, the sacrum, and the front of the hips, the psoas. Inner thigh is opening up. We're just preparing that birth canal, right? We want to be open in our hips so that we can get the baby to come through. <laughs> Not right now, save that for later. Let's enjoy right now. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and bring your knees together and let's gently lift up and pull the bolster around, the, uh, uh, turn it the lengthwise way. We're gonna keep being on our back. It's never a great idea to lay flat on your back when you're pregnant, especially past the first trimester. So let's elevate our hips on that bolster and lay your upper body down. This should take the strain off of the back from laying flat. Our knees are bent, our hips are elevated. So this releases, as we tilt our pelvis upward a little, it releases some pressure in our low back. We also want to build some strength in our back. So we're not just trying to rest our back, but we're also trying to strengthen and build up our muscles, muscles in the back body. So just go ahead and press into the feet Lift up one vertebrae at a time. Take a bridge pose. Now, since our bolster's in the way, let's take our arms out to a T. This will pull open our shoulder blades as we press our weight up toward the base of the neck. So we're having to use our back, our glutes, and our hamstrings to hold us in the air. Build some strength. We know that that bolster is underneath us, so if you need to come down at any time, just gently lower onto that bolster. Let's take a breath, inhale. Exhale, gently lower it down. Tilt your pelvis as you do and let it relax. So now we let go of the glutes and the hamstrings. This is rest. We don't want to hold on to the tension when we're in our resting position. Let's do it one more time. Go ahead and lift up, inhale. Feel that lift, feel the stretch. Very nice. So when we engage our back body, we stretch the front body. We're getting a lot of good lengthening for the psoas, which can get very strained 
through pregnancy. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, come on down, tilt your hips, lower onto, the, onto that bolster. And elevate your legs up to the sky. Now with our hips tilted, we should take the strain out of our abdominals. So we have uh, this length through the legs, through the back of the legs. Our legs in the air can help release, release pressure. If your ankles start to swell, elevating the ankles a little bit helps. We'll pull some of that blood flow down to the baby, to the heart, to our head. Very restorative. You can also turn this position up against a wall. So elevate your hips on that bolster, extend your legs up to the wall. That feels really nice too. A little bit of upside down time. Keep breathing. One more breath. Inhale, exhale, bend your knees, pull them into your chest. Don't squeeze that baby though, go ahead and lower your feet to the floor. And let's pull the bolster out from under us. And you can either slide it under your knees. And if you start to feel dizzy with the bolster under your knees, Turn onto your side and let your both bolster support you through your belly, through your leg. It's time to take a little moment of rest, a little peace from this gentle practice that we've done, just honoring the body and honoring the energy levels that sometimes come, sometimes drop a little in, in, pre, in pregnancy. So get comfortable either on your side or with the knees elevated on that bolster. Just close your eyes and breathe deep for a few moments. Let your thoughts float down to your baby. Cradle that life within. Send your breath to your baby. Feel the energy of the baby, a new life within you. And honor yourself as a woman and a mother and the incredible work that you're doing every day by carrying life. Start to wake yourself up. Gently roll over onto your side if you're not already. Use that bolster to support you. As you come to sit up, crisscross, you can sit on your bolster one more time if you like, if that feels good for your hips. Let's just close with a breath together. Arms by our sides. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull your hands through heart center. 
I honor you. I honor your power as a woman. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.